My name is Peter Ward. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Wayne.com, which stands for Where Are You Now? And the business has been set up in 2002 and we're the largest social travel network in the world. So participation marketing, what it means to me, um, essentially I think it's the same thing as engagement marketing. It's really about building a relationship with your customers or prospective audiences uh, in a more emotive way than just communicating one way to them. So I think the, the real transformation that we've seen in the last few years in this space is really about how you can actually get them involved in creating the brand, persona or experience that you want. So people talk about moving from a campaign approach to a, a dialogue approach in terms of marketing. I think it's very much around campaigning over the duration of the relationship and actually building that over time. So one way we like to present that is continuing the conversation. It's one thing uh, launching an initiative and getting your prospective or existing customers in, interested in what you have to say. It's about then working out how you can create, if you like, a never-ending story. And to create a never-ending story, it's about finding ways in which you can essentially um, have touch points where you are then moving that to the next stage of uh, where you want to take the, the, the message. So one example that we've uh, used is, is the World Cup. It's something that happens every four years. So you, know, you can do the build-up to the World Cup, which is obviously all the, all the anticipation, during, which is obviously the event itself, where there's at the height of the excitement, and then afterwards, which is very much the aftermath, uh, what you learn, what the experience and the emotional attachment to that was, and I guess then le lessons learned for the next four years. My point of view on brands becoming more like publishers is I think that there's just a matter of everybody now has to create a conversation with their audiences and if you can't find ways to engage through through dialogue through through content marketing messaging which is essentially very much tapping into the emotions of your customers then you're going to leave your customers behind those who are doing it well have shown that they can take their customers with them and actually build their brand experience around them so that's something that I'm seeing a lot in, in what we're doing as well some good examples of participation marketing that I've seen that are outside of Wayne, I think a couple come couple spring to mind. First of all, uh, Nike with their fuel band. Uh, I purchased a fuel band um, a few months ago. I'm not wearing it now, but I've seen how engaged it is for me as a customer and how it's changed my relationship with the, the Nike brand. As it's something that I'm competing against myself, it's, a, it's about how I can improve upon myself and also share that with my friends. Uh, another example with a, with a big brand, I guess, is, is Coke where they are obviously using the, the sort of share of Coke and the name, which you feel personalised to you. And, and actually I saw one in the, in the shops the other day, which was Piot, which is my name in Polish. And as a half Polish person, I thought that's really cool and I wanted to get that just to, to show my wife. So I think anything that personalises the message makes me want to share it with my, my loved ones and my friends is a, is a good, good thing to do. Some of the key benefits of participation marketing, I think, well, first and foremost, I think it's about creating brand ag advocacy. So really about converting your customers or prospective audiences into people who not only are your customers, but they are sharing your brand with their friends, with, with others, and saying why it's great. You know, there's no better way to influence others in terms of your products and services than to get other people to, to recommend them for you. Um, in fact, 70% of people who buy products uh, or are influenced by brands do so through recommendations. Um, so that, I'd say, is the main benefit. Other benefits include just creating you know, an emotional attachment to, uh, to what their, you know, the, their perception of your brand is. It's very hard to you know, think about the product as just a widget or something that you buy versus something that makes you feel good about yourself. So any, anything that, that attaches to uh, a value trait or an emotional trait, I think this is something that participation marketing allows you to do.